Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing good and learning new things. In this video, I want to talk about certification or course loop. So let's understand what certification loop actually is. When you start learning new skills, for example, let's say data science or data engineering. So you start searching about courses or certification to learn those skills. Now you start learning about basics from that course such as python, sql, some basic analytics, libraries etc. Then you read some blogs or articles where someone mentioned that to become a data scientist you should know machine learning. So you again sign up for machine learning course and start doing it. And after that you get ad from google or facebook where they tell you tensorflow is a must have skill for machine learning engineers. So you start learning that. And after that something else comes up and keeps coming. You just keep doing courses after courses and never apply concepts learned in real world. This entire cycle is called as certification or course loop. So let's understand why this happens in the first place. The thing is completing a course or a certification gives you dopamine rush which makes you happy and you start thinking that you have made great progress by completing this particular certification and you love that feeling. So you keep repeating this process again and again and never apply those things in actual projects. This is what I call as action faking. Doing courses are really good. Online learning is one of the best thing happened to us. But if you keep doing courses after courses and never apply those things in actual projects then it's completely useless. I have faced this issue in my career too. When I was in college I kept doing certification after certification and thought having certification means I know everything but I was wrong because when I started working on real projects at that time I learned real projects are way different from doing certification projects. I completed course on machine learning from Coursera. After doing that I felt if I do deep learning specialization I will learn everything but once I completed that I thought let's learn tensorflow and then cloud and it never ends till you realize that you are stuck in this particular loop. You will always feel that once I complete this course then I will be able to solve the problem or once I get this particular certification then I will apply for internships. Certification will give you knowledge. They give you tools to solve problems but if you never use those tools and keep collecting information then it's pretty useless. Doing certification is not bad. It's really important to learn these things but if you are never going to apply those things in real world then it has no use. So now we understand what certification and the course loop actually mean. Now let's learn about how to break that particular loop and how to do courses in right way. Number one is setting clear goals. Whenever you start learning any topic let's say data engineering then set clear goals for practicing after learning each section of the topics. From Monday to Friday, I am going to learn about basics of Python and SQL by watching videos or reading books or blogs. And on weekend, I will find some data online. Let's say I will get COVID data from some website and start playing with it. I will clean that data, process it properly and then upload that data in SQL table. Once I get that data in database, I will start querying that data and find insight such as how many COVID patients India currently have. How many people recovered from COVID this week compared to last week and so on. When you do these exercises, first you will actually apply knowledge you learn from the videos and then there might be some challenges you face while applying this particular concept. For example, comparing data from this week to last week might be quite challenging so you can google that particular thing and learn about it. That's how you build logic and solve problem by taking step by step approach and actually solving it. The thing is this process is really hard because you will have to think a lot and have some discipline to work on these problems. Your brain will always push you to go to the next thing by telling you that you already learned this thing in course but doing course and actually applying that knowledge in real world is completely different. Then next week you can plan again I'm going to learn visualization this week and then start applying that skill on database I have built last week and so on. At the end of this exercise you will have complete project to add it in your resume or portfolio. You will have complete hands on practice. Again doing certification is completely useless if you are not able to apply that skill in real world. So remember that. Second thing is you don't have to follow the same structure courses teaches you. 
What I mean is once you do these exercises while learning, you will automatically understand what part of this field you enjoy working on and what part you don't enjoy. So you will create your own learning path based on that. Every person has different learning path and you will find your path as you start learning these things. Best way to find path is getting an internship. You have one to two good projects ready where you have applied your knowledge and skills learned from the courses. Then you can show it to your employer that you have built this from scratch from taking a problem, understanding it and solving it. One of the biggest mistake freshers make is that they add common projects in the resume or portfolio. These projects they have done from some courses or just copied from different websites. But you need to play smart. You are going to first identify some problem and solve it end to end. Quantity of projects has no value, it's all about quality. So what you have done properly is far more important than how much have you done. Once you get an internship, you will start working on real world problems and that will lead you to your own learning path. If your company is using Tableau for visualization, then you will learn that. If your company is using Google Cloud, then you will learn that and so on. Fundamentals are going to be the same. You will still have to learn basic programming language, data structures, SQL, fundamentals of big data. But the tools you use might change companies to companies. So don't worry about getting the right tool, but focus on clearing fundamentals. And then once you join the company, you will find your own path. So that's how you break your certification loop. Get a problem, set clear goals, keep applying things you learn and get the end of the exercise. You will have good quality project. If you learned something new from this video, then don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel. I have plans to upload a lot of things related to data science, machine learning, cloud computing and data engineering. And see you in the next video. Thank you.